Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Inside Spurs channel. Happy Wednesday afternoon. I hope you are all okay. I hope the day's treating you well. Whatever it is, the up to today, I hope it is going as well as it possibly could. Obviously, this is a snippet, shorter version of the 12 o'clock live video that I recorded. And uh, yeah, we're just talking a little bit around Califiori, talked a little about uh, Genoa CEO's comments on Jed Spencer's situation as well as the interest in Pierre Hincapi. So plenty to talk about, plenty to get into. Just want to say though, if you're new, subscribe. You're very much welcome to join us for the journey. And like I said, this was from 12 p.m. live. So 12 p.m. and 7 p.m. every day we do lives on this channel. Um, so please join in if you uh, are per someone that can make them in the bio down below. Um, you'll also see there's a link to my socials my second channel that I've just created, and I'll put it also in the comments so you can see it. But anyway, let's talk about Piero Hincapi. So from Sport Build, they said that Tottenham are among the clubs interested in signing by a Leverkusen defender, Piero Hincapi. And I kind of just sort of quickly summarise as to why I don't think this will happen, um, or I think even it's it's something that's you could deem as hot, uh, purely because we already know that Spurs aren't going to be going for a big signing in a position where they deem it not as crucial as others. So, for example, they deem a attacker probably a lot more, they probably value it a lot more than they would a defender, okay? Because the attacker is probably what let us down quite a bit last season. And people, I think people over-egg and overdo the, the defensive issues because half the counter-attacks, had we had a fluid attack, they wouldn't have been there, right? So, I, d I still don't see where they would go big on defenders. I mean, the fact that Hincap is going to cost, you know, 40 plus easily, I don't see it happening whatsoever. Uh, moving into it on the Jed Spence report. So uh, from the Genoa CEO, he said, I'd be happy to keep Jed Spence at the club. He was doing great here on loan, but it doesn't depend on us. Spence would be happy to stay at Genoa, but Tottenham are a rich club. Um, and I kind of summarise this as, um, well, you have a buyout clause that we agreed on that on that loan that you did in, in January so if you truly want him then it does depend on you because you can just bid that amount right now they don't want to do that and Spurs are happy to negotiate but what you also need to realize is if Spurs is willing to negotiate with you on this side of things you're not going to get the release clause being from what what is it about eight and a half million down to like five that's not what Spurs are going to do Spurs will go seven seven and a half they're not, you know, the fact that but Tottenham are a rich club, it doesn't matter they're a rich club. They're not doing charity work just because they you've put the pressure on through the media. Because let's be honest, putting pressure on in the media, Daniel Levy doesn't care. He doesn't he doesn't care what the backlash about, you know, raising season ticket prices and doing things against his own club. He's not going to care about Genoa in a different country. He's not going to care. So, you know, good luck with that one, obviously. And to finish off with Calafiore, we've got a couple of bits on Calafiore. So from Nicolo Shiro said that Bologna have asked for 50 million euros to sell Ricardo Calafiore. Juventus have an agreement in principle with the centre-back until the summer of 2029, but Juve consider too high of the request. Uh, Bologna have been approached by Arsenal and Tottenham in the last days. Fabrizio Romano kind of gave a little bit more to this and said that Bologna will ask for an important fee for Ricardo Calafiore as they owe FC Basel around 40% of the future sale, over 6 million euros. Um, the Bologna director said that we'll see after the Euros, but want to keep all our players, including Calafiore. And, um, you know, I, I, I've, I've said multiple times on videos or on lives, and I've said Calafiore to Juventus, it makes too much sense when you think about you know, Thiago Motta was the Bologna coach last season, the, the man who helped sort of make Calafiore who is in terms of right now. He's then obviously gone to Juventus. They both have Champions League football. He's going to get paid way more at Juventus as well. He still wants to be in Italy, and Juventus are a big club. So a lot of those things just make sense. The issue that Juventus have is obviously they look inside Douglas Louise. They're, they're still keen on um, Toon Coop Miners, you know, What's going to happen with Chiesa? What's going to happen with Bremer? You know, I think one of them would have to be sold if they're going to get... Uh, I think you might even have to sell both of them if you're going to get Calafiori and a Coop Miners. Um, I don't know, though, really on that because the Coop Miners deal has also quietened up a little bit. But it was just my thought and feeling on it. Look, Spurs aren't spending £40 million plus pounds on a, on a centre-half. I just don't see it. I really don't. Now, had this been maybe next season when Spurs... 
you know, they've had this summer and the, the January coming to, you know, rectify a few things, get, you know, six to eight players in. Then the following summer, then that might have been the summer they do it. But it's just one summer too soon, in my opinion. But we shall see. But anyway, guys, then the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like on the video. If you'd hit me in the comment section down below your thoughts and feelings around that Calafiori deal and do you think Spurs will be in there? Obviously, the quotes from the Genoa CEO on Jed Spence and obviously the main thing that it was and we're talking, you know, all those things all on lives, all right? Um, obviously, subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the notification for more. But anyway, guys, then the video. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, guys.